Go, 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 shawty. Go, Mary. It's your birthday. It gon' party like it's your birthday. Eh, go. To the name of day, do shakara. To the name of day, do shakara. To the name your day, do shakara. To the name your day, do shakara. In fact, if anybody don't like the shakara, what they do? I beg, go to the next, okay? Because it's a new day, it's a new dawn, and it's a new feeling altogether. So I made this video on my birthday and this is why I'm kind of in a very very high spirit and because it's my birthday I have decided to share something very special with you my ladies and that is how to know treasure thank you and that is how to know if your Nigerian man is married back home <laughs> Voila, don't they? Hey, okay, guys, just listen, listen. You know, there's just this thing about like someone's birthday. It just makes you feel so special. It just makes you feel so loved. Like not the love of another person, but like your love engulfing you. And I'm that kind of person who loves myself so much. I really do love myself. And on my birthday, I love myself, Esther. So because it's my birthday, I have decided to share a birthday present with you. Okay, so if you watch this video and you were thankful, do not forget to say, thank you, Marianne. I do appreciate this as my gift, okay? So in this video, I'll be sharing with you how to know if your Nigerian man is married back home. So there is a lot connected to this topic. And if we start today, we may not even finish it. It's a topic that can be debatable actually. But for me, and this is coming straight from me, this is how I would tell that my Nigerian man or a Nigerian man is married back home. So let's not, there is no room for arguments. There is no room for debates right here. If you have yours, just share with us. And maybe we could learn something. This is just coming from me, Marianne, the birthday girl, because she's the only one allowed to speak today. <laughs> okay, so number one thing you should know, or the first way to actually know if your Nigerian man is married back home. Mm -hmm. Still in that same spirit, yeah? So is don't forget don't forget it is the first and most important actually not all men can fall into the category of being married just because of this particular thing i'm going to talk about but most of them will fall into the category of being married with the following explanation that i will give and that is children mm -hmm most nigerian men who have children back home are married this is true mm -hmm. believe it or not most nigerian men who have children back home are married yes you could argue that some of them yes maybe some had children and then out of wedlock or it didn't work out or they are divorced understood greatly understood but let me tell you and still speaking as the one who's having her birthday today and you need to listen to me is number one like i've always said is very rare for nigerians to divorce their wives or their husbands very rare i'm telling you even in bad marriages even in very very unfavorable conditions they still stick together like glue which is not that I support that, but it's very hard. The only people who will actually leave their husbands are those who have the strong heart. So this is why it is very hard for a Nigerian man to tell you that he's got kids without a wife. And the other part, which you could argue is, okay, maybe he had that child out of wedlock. But it's not very often that you see a Nigerian man impregnate a girl and don't marry her 
It's true that some don't, but it's very rare. You understand? So this is why I'm telling you it's very rare to see a single Nigerian man with, ch with children or with kids and he isn't married. So one could argue that not all men who actually have children back home in Nigeria are married. And I said, yes. Remember, in the beginning I said, it is possible to find some of those, but it is very rare. It is a rare case, just understand. But it is possible because just maybe someone had a fling or someone had a girlfriend and uh, she got pregnant and they knew it was a mistake and they decided to keep the baby. So this is possible, but very rare, very rare. So that is one way you know that your Nigerian man is married if he has kids back home. If he keeps hammering on, I have children back home, I have to call them, I have to take care of them, yes, he might be married. Because those kids, especially their kids, not kid, kids, because those kids will be taken care of by someone. And that is when the auntie comes into the picture. And that auntie could be the mother of those children in essence for the fact that he has children he may be married because you start to hear stories like my sister is taking care of them or my mom is taking care of them I need to call my sister I need to call my aunt is taking care of them blah 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 he just wants to talk to his wife and kids mm. let's just keep it at that let's not talk too much about it just because it's my birthday Okay, so now let's move to the next thing for you to know that your Nigerian man is married. So if he has kids, then he has to call more often than he's supposed to. So when you see your man calling home, that is calling Ninja so often and on, wanting to talk to his children, wanting to talk to the caretaker of his children, that is his supposed aunt or his supposed sister who's taking care of those kids, my dear, don't be deceived. Think about it. Just think about it. I think I like that. Just think about it. Okay, so let's go to the next thing. How you know? How else do you know that your man is married? Mm -hmm. Yes, I got it. The next way to know that your Nigerian man is married, it's all connected. So when you see him picking a certain kind of call and not wanting to talk to that person in front of you, mm -hmm. yes, picking a certain kind of call or not picking that certain kind of call. Because if you call and he's not picking, like you're saying, babe, your phone is ringing, pick up your phone. It's like... Oh, just leave that my aunt alone. She keeps disturbing, asking for money for the upkeep of these children. I'm just so tired of talking to her. She thinks it's easy to make money down here or what? He doesn't want to talk to his sweetheart right in front of you. Just maybe they have a lot to talk about. Just maybe he needs to say something sweet to her. And it's not right to say that in front of you. He would rather when he goes out or he goes somewhere else where he could be free so he can talk about it. Note this, note this down. And as I'm talking to you, it is very, very important to note this down. See, some wives back home, they know that their men or their Nigerian men are married. But this will be story for another day. So when you are calling and when he is not picking those calls, she knows not to be angry because she knows. Yeah, let's not talk a lot about that. Let's keep it for next time because I will be exposing that. It's all related to call. It's either through his call, through his social media. How else are you supposed to know if someone is doing something, if not through those means? Those are the only ways that I actually know about. And there's something else you should think about. If he is married, he will not release his real social media account to you. Because that social media account is the account that he's known with. His family, his friends, you know, everyone he's met before he came over to wherever it is he is that you met him, they all know him there. And if he's married, it's also there. Because, of course, his marriage, maybe pictures and picture of his family, they're all there. 
so definitely he won't want to introduce you to it and he may just give you an excuse like i don't i don't do social media it's not or oh, social media is for uh it's childish i don't like to do social media and then maybe when you talk and talk and talk it's like okay hon i decided to just you know open you know this blah 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 and this is it he would never give you his real social media account i'm telling you and you would never know there's another way to know you know like if he travels home let's say you guys are together mm -hmm, over there abroad and he travels home say for holiday and you did not go with him okay so now this is where you get him for real like he will pick your call all the time he will pick your call every hour all time of the day but he will not pick your calls at night you know why because nights are special and he's with his wife and no matter what happens abroad his wife is not gonna like even if she knew he was married abroad his wife is not gonna take it it's like babe if you were home just forget those things you understand like i'm not gonna take that nonsense you know i understand that you said this when you were abroad but now that you were here please so for that reason he may not want to pick your call because he's with his wife and then the following day he will call back to apologize to you telling you or giving you stories either about you know our nepa or probably switch up the phone when you're calling and tell you that we had a, a power a failure which we always have in nigeria for that which we always have in nigeria for sure and then or he could give you the story of you know my battery tripped or i had I, or i was fast asleep you know things like that my ladies you know me coming straight and direct to you i don't want you to be used see this is not a foolproof like yeah this is it you get him this way but sometimes we ladies will have to be smart and when we are smart that is the only way that we can actually catch men who are playing with us we have to be smart to be able to understand that hmm, 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 this brother <laughs> If you know what I mean, my God, I'm not, you know, I'm not always in this high spirit. I don't know why. Actually, this is me. I feel this way most of the time. I feel this way, actually, almost all the time. But because of stress, of life, of work, of everything, sometimes I get so tired. You will not understand how tired. Oh, why is this? What, what's happening to my clothes? You will not understand how tired one can be until you are abroad working and trying to make a living where you have to go to work and come back and sleep. Life is like a clock over here. We do not even have time for ourselves. Okay? So the, you see this video I'm making. I had just made, I'm just making this video. And after this video, I will prepare and we will go out. And this is late at night. This is late at night. I closed from work around 7, no, 6 p.m. I came home at past 7, I was already home. And right now, it's about uh, past 8 to 9. You see, just because it's my day, then I have to do something for myself. So this is my ladies. How do you know that your Nigerian man is married home it's not a foolproof it's not a sure banker but it's something that can at least help you tell once he has kids especially when he has kids when there is in fact listen to this listen to this kids in the picture sister or auntie who's taking care of those kids phone calls that are actually avoided most of the time not picking up your calls when he goes home for a visit. Yes, when he goes home for a visit. You, his wife, he decides to go home for something. And when he goes home, he changes automatically. Yeah, he changes just for that time being while he was home. <clears throat> just no, just no. 
Let's not talk so much about it. It's my birthday. I gotta go out. I need to go out. Okay? <laughs> so, bye, my ladies. Without further ado, to have a lovely day. To have a happy day. Stay happy. Stay blessed. Then. Bye bye. Do not forget to give me a birthday present. Don't you there. And if you haven't, you can just tap on it. Tap on the subscribe button. Bye bye. That would be a good present for me.